Hey, hey, you guys, your girl Beauty with Mika, and I have my Sephora friends and family haul, my Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul. By the time you guys are watching this video, the sale is over. It's over. I think I personally did good. Um, don't you guys tell me if I did good. I, if you're wondering what's on my lips, this is Max High Drama Lipstick. I believe they still have it available. I'll post a link for it down below. And if you're wondering if I'm looking over to the side, it's because your girl got a new camera. So I am recording on the new Canon EOS 50 and it has the side view mirror. So I'm just trying out some new tech. I got to upgrade. Um, so yeah, that is it. Let me know what you guys think about the quality of this camera. I was recording on the Canon Mark gx2 i still have that camera still love it but i wanted to try just get something else and upgrade just a little bit so yeah let's go ahead and get into this haul because i looked at everything and i feel like i did really really good um for friends and family i don't have everything separated so i'm gonna just sep uh, talk about it in categories the first thing is this volsper candle set i purchased this for the twin school teachers honestly because this was a 75 dollar uh value and it comes with 12 candles and there's 12 teachers. Um, and I just don't give it to the teachers like in their specific classroom. I like to give it to all the teachers. So these have many candles inside and I feel like this would be a great gift set. I don't want to. Yeah. So this would be a great gift set for someone, um, for teachers, for people in education, anyone that loves candles. So what I want to do is put these in um, a gift bag and add a hand sanitizer in a gift card, um, either to like Target or somewhere, just a $5 gift card, something sweet, but you know, just not a lot. And then even probably like a little bottle of Stella Rosa wine for them. But I feel like this was cute, it was good. So this was one of my big ticket items. I did purchase this during the friends and family sale um, because I just wanted to get started. Honestly, you guys, I was like, let me get started on Christmas shopping. That's the whole point of these sales let's see so that's from friends and family um let's see another thing my bag of samples i got a lot of samples one of the ones that i wanted to try was the victor and roll off flower bomb and nectar i remember smelling this but i wasn't sure if i really liked this so i got this sample um i did go ahead and pick up the pharmacy daily green oil free gel moisturizer this was a hundred point perk i this was on my wish list, but I don't need a moisturizer right now. So at this point, I was like, let me just get one of the travel sizes and see if I like it. Another other things that I have, let's see. This is the Wonder Beauty, what is this? Liquid Foundation and Illusion. So this is just a little sample. And then also Dior Joy. I love this, but I have yet to repurchase it again. So I like the little travel. And then this is the Beauty Blender Foam. So it dispenses water and then you have your little foam sponge right here. So that's what that looks like. Um, it's just supposed to be like an airbrush. So I guess it's something you can use up under the eyes. So basically it's like a mini beauty blender, basically. Okay, so, oh, another thing. This was a random. I wanted to get a Jo Malone candle and Sephora gave me the bag. So if you're wondering, Jo Malone, they have fragrances, they have candles. I wanted to try a candle from them. This was my gift to me um, because I obviously, some good things have been happening for me um, in the past few months. And I was like, I just want to kind of give myself a little treat. Um, and I wanted a candle from Jo Malone. I wanted the candle for two reasons. I wanted to know if the quality is just as good as their fragrance and two i love to have like a candle on my vanity right back here just to make ambiance in my space and i was like i want to see how this how this spans out you guys know i'm a candle person so i went on and picked up the jo malone i got peony and blush um i also have mimosa and cardamom in the fragrance i love that but i want to try a different scent so peony and blush is also a good smelling scent and i was like i gotta have you like as soon as i smelled it i was like girl you gotta have her um so yeah i picked it up i am okay so yeah i wanted to go ahead and pick this up it smells so so good so i'll let you guys know my thoughts on this and what i think about it and i'll come back to you guys let's see hair and since we're on like the whole smelling good for hair care i did pick up like i said i was going to pick up the nika sofu nourishing mask i did pick up the travel size i just went on and picked up the 28 dollar one because london got some thick hair and i'm obviously growing my hair back so i wanted to try it out and i heard the glam twins talk about it again i was like all right let me just go on and pick up the 28 dollar one 
to see if I really like it. A lot of natural hair um, bloggers, everyone, they talk about this. They recommend it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get the big one. So yeah, London gets another hair product. And me, because she going to lose it when my hair grows back. Something from Valspar, Vals, Valospar, tell me if I'm butchering the name wrong. I picked up one of their holiday home ambiance diffusers. This one is in, what is the scent? Guilt Pom Pomeranian. I'll post the, the notes down here. But this one is basically, it was clearance out to $18. So I said, let me go ahead and try it out. And I can have it either sitting in my bedroom or in my beauty space or it's sitting in my bedroom or sitting in the bathroom. But I like that this lasts for over 18 hours and it, the reviews on it were good. So because it was $18, uh, I was like, let me just go on and grab it. So yeah, your girl did go ahead and get that. So a fragrance that I was not planning to purchase, but I did finish one fragrance this year. Yay me. Um, you guys know my goal, if you're new to my channel, my goal is every year to, I need to use up so many fragrances before I purchase one so if I use up one I only purchase one during the Sephora sale and I only purchase at the end of the year because then that fragrance lasts me the rest of the year and I only purchase one ounces I don't purchase anything over one ounce because let's be honest you got enough fragrances my ultimate goal that I only keep for fragrances is 10 any more than that I do not purchase I have to use up stuff last year I used up four fragrances and I purchased four buy so this year i did go ahead and purchase one so happy stylish mommy if you guys are not following her youtube channel i'll post that down below she talked about the mark jacobs perfect girl i went into ulta and i smelled this and i let it linger 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 i let my husband smell it and he was like i like that scent so i went on and purchased it with the during the sephora so i love the mark jacobs line but honestly you guys mark jacobs i love just the decor and the aspects of their bottles that i'm like Ugh, because i always know mark jacobs will always be available this one hands down i have i can't remember the last time i purchased the mark jacobs fragrance but this one was a must-have for me now let's go on to some skincare. So I did go ahead and pick up three of the Sephora Dry Cleaner brush sprays. You guys know I love and talk about these. These are basically dry shampoo for your makeup brushes. You could spot clean with these. You could, um, I would say you could travel with this, but I wouldn't recommend it. But I do like these. So I picked up three of these for my stash. Something that I did reach out to my esthetician, Britt's Makeup Diary. You guys know Britt does my facials. She takes care of all this skin. She told me to go ahead and try out the Pharmacy Deep Sweet 2% BHA Pore Cleansing Toner with Mirena and Papaya Long. <laughs> so I went on and picked it up because I was like, Britt, I'm shopping the sale. You already know what's the deal. What should I purchase? And she said this one was one of them. So I was like, all right, purchase this one. Good let's see a cleansing oil not that i needed this this was i was in store with my friend we were shopping and we was like let's just go in sephora because we already placed our orders and we don't need anything i had nothing in the basket and then andrea renee she does her vlog sundays for a week so if you follow andrea renee in her last vlog she did a like skincare routine she used the Ines Hydrating Cleansing Oil with green tea. This is only $22. So when I was in store, I was like, it's only $22. Like, you're going to get 20% off. I shouldn't have did it, but I did. So, yeah, $22. I got 20% off. I did purchase this in store because I seen her recommendation. And then sticking to the list, I did purchase the Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I have seen Jackie Ina and a few people talk about this and you guys know I love the Belief line. They currently also sell it at Ulta, but this wasn't available at Ulta. So I went on and purchased it at Sephora to get my discount. All right, you guys. So that's what I purchased for skincare. Let's go on to some makeup. So my girl Kay's way, if again, if you're not following Kay, I'll post the link to her channel down below. She told me to get the Benefits 24 hour brow setter in clear. So I went on and purchased this one in the mini cause the full size was like $24. You guys know I recently had hauled another brow setter. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and get this. So I did go ahead and add that to the list and buy that. Something that was a random was the Laura Mercier Velour Puff Sponge. I wanted to try that whole um, translucent like powder before you apply your foundation and see how long it lasts because I will be on a lot of Zoom calls and stuff for work and I want to have long lasting makeup. So I'm always looking at different techniques. Um, some Mari, no, let's start with Anastasia. I did pick up the Anastasia Brow Duo. I wanted to go ahead and start using some powder on my brows because honestly, I don't really think that I'm going to go back and get my brows microbladed. So I'm just learning to 
shape my brows draw my brows in do things like that i feel like i've gotten a better job at it now because now i know what works what things one of those things was i wanted to pick up a brow powder so i got it in chocolate to go in and fill out those sparse areas that i need to when the pencil doesn't do it now on to some more makeup because the rest of it is makeup the mario palette i wanted to pick up the master eye prep and prime mario was not on the list but you have friends that will tell you to try something because it works good. So I wanted to pick this up in deep. I heard great reviews about it. Um, and this is not an under eye concealer. This is to prep your eyes before you apply your eyeshadows. He did come out with some eyeshadow palettes. So this is more of like a cream and then you set it with the eyes. So pretty much what we do now with eye primer. But just he has his own set right now. So yeah, I went on and got that. Then I picked up the Mario Makeup by Mario palette, but I picked up the matte. You guys, ugh. This is how you know, like, people enable you. So this I was not looking at. I wasn't, I, you guys are, you guys can go back in the video. I never talked about picking up anything from Mario. But the matte palette, girl, look at these shades. Oh my God. Hello. These shades are perfect. This palette is tiny because I, th I thought this palette was going to be like a Natasha Denona size. And I was, I got it. I was like, this palette ain't going to tiny. But these shades, like, hello. Do we not need these neutrals? No, but it's so pretty. Like, you could travel with this and then take a whole nother like colorful eyeshadow palette and you'd be good. You don't even probably need a colorful eyeshadow palette. You'd be good with this, especially if you're traveling for business. This is good. So, no regrets there. Um, let's see. something. Another palette. I'm going to just go through the palettes. I did pick up the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. I will be doing swatches. Um, a lot of this stuff I have not done swatches on. This is her new holiday palette. I thought this was so pretty. You guys know I've already had her previous one. But Charlotte, can we please get the names on the palettes? Why we got to have a sleeve? For the price, we should get the names on the palettes. But this is what the palette looks like. It is so freaking pretty. Oh my God. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. So I'm excited for this. This I was not going to purchase. I was kind of like, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. And then I went and checked out. So yeah, something hit me. I blame it. Um, now something that was a random. When I went into the store, I purchased the Jo Malone candle. But I really went in to pick up this Natasha Denona palette this is her mini zito palette this was not on my list again i took it off my list i was like no i'm not gonna purchase it i don't need it and you got enough palettes you know how you go through all that like girl you don't need it but you guys know i love the natasha palettes i traveled overseas with these palettes and love them they don't break the quality is good and when i kept looking at swatches i was like just gonna get it the sale about the end so that's what i did Pat McGrath, she always has her individual eyeshadows on sale. So I went through my list and the one I didn't have was Sextrovert. Sextrovert. Yeah, that's the name of it. Sextrovert. So I went on and picked it up because it was $12.50 on clearance plus my 20% off. So your girl did save some money there. These um, individual eyeshadows are regular price $29. So you know I could not miss a steal. All right, so let's go ahead to Rare Beauty because Rare Beauty. No, let's go on to um, Patrick Ta. So the fancy face, um, Tina, she recently did a haul video and she talked about swatches of Patrick Ta's blushes. So I went on and purchased them because I was like, ugh, before everybody start buying, they're going to be a hit. The two that she talked about that I felt like were women of color friendly, at least for me, was, oh, she's different. Now his blushes are cream and powder and the way he describes them is he wants you uh, to apply the powder first then the cream so you do opposite normally we would do the cream and then set it with the powder no he wants you to do powder plus the cream and i was like i ain't doing it so i purchased oh she's different now oh so this is what it looks like if you're wondering a lot of people wasn't talking about it but the cream is covered with the powder so i do like that because you actually get to have it covered so i was wondering if it was like that if it was going to be like open like this so everything just touches and it doesn't my friend purchased hers in the store and she was like mika's covered so i was like all right let me purchase it so this is what she looks like she's so cute and then the second one this one is more of like neutral you guys know i really like that neutral glam like quick easy on the go makeup type of look so this one is she's so la and Patrick Ta has really been doing it. So kudos to him because his quality is really good. And the feedback and the response as far as his makeup has been really good. 
So this is what she looks like. She is definitely a bronze. She will definitely be used for the summer or anytime. She's going to be my go-to. I can feel it. Now let's go on to Rare Beauty. So Rare Beauty, they had a couple of different things and it was good that I was talking to my friends about it because I wanted to try it but then I didn't and I was kind of like, eh, I want to try it. I'm not into the hype of it. I really am not a Selena Gomez fan. I really don't remember what Selena Gomez did or anything. Couldn't tell you but the products and the reviews of her line has been really good. She came out with these sets. So she has two sets. She has a lighter skin tone and then she has the best of Rare Beauty and you get a lip and cheek four piece mini set so i really did like this because you get one matte blush you get a dewy blush a lip balm and a matte cream lipstick and i really do like this set i believe this set was like 34 dollars. so i went on and purchased the entire i purchased this i'm gonna take these out so i got let's see support is a lip balm and it's so it's a mini one see what that looks like that's what support looks like. These are mini, mini. And I feel like if you really want to try Rare Beauty, these little gift sets will work perfect. I got a liquid blush in Joy. And Joy is a pretty coral. Then I got another liquid blush in Love. I feel like these are so pretty for women of color. She has a lighter one for um, women that are a little bit lighter skin tone. Um, and then she has Transform, which is a pretty red. And this is a matte lipstick. That... Ooh, okay, that's gonna be cute. Now, another blush that I went on and purchased because it wasn't in the set, and you guys know purple is my favorite color, I went on and purchased Faith. Now, Faith is a full-size blush, but I didn't have a problem because I really don't have a lot of purple blushes, and I felt like the size of her packaging is a little bit, goes a long way. So that's what Faith looks like. So I did purchase the full size of this one in addition to the set. And then last but not least, I did purchase her foundation and her concealer. So you guys know I would be coming back to you guys with the review. A get ready with me using all the Rare Beauty products to give you guys my thoughts. Because you guys know my oily skin will tell me if it ain't working. I purchased the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation in the shade 480W. And she has the... So this is what it looks like. I kind of shade match myself based off either my Cover Effects shade match or my Fenty one. And I have more of a neutral warm undertone if you're wondering. So I feel like this is going to be a good shade. And then I got the concealer also in 480W. That's what that looks like. And the concealer is supposed to be like more of a brightening concealer. So I'm kind of like, mm, we'll see how this works. But yeah, that is it for the Sephora sale, you guys. I'm done. If you guys see a haul for me, it better be for Christmas gifts. I, I'm straight up telling y'all that's just it. I, I'm i done. You're that is it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys see another haul for me, kick me in my butt. Tell me I'm wrong. Put me in the corner and time out, girl. Because I should not be buying nothing else the rest of this year. But, of course, I am shopping for the twins. So, if you guys want to see, like, what I bought my kids for Christmas, I know people do that a lot for the holidays. Let me know. Other than that, stay blessed. I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.